Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. So in this quick video, I want to go over something that not a lot of people really understand or they do understand it, but they like it's uncomfortable to actually follow it. Okay. Or they're getting told by influencers that like, you know, you shouldn't do it because any, any, any target works, right? Any niche, any sub niche works. Okay. And this, the thing that I want to cover today is the importance of finding sub niches in a specific niche if you actually want to succeed really fast okay if you want to make like if you want to make a hundred grand in the next three to five months from zero literally go from zero to six figures in revenue in three to five months like pay attention to this okay and um the traditional way was niching down right a lot of people are like oh uh find a niche niche down which is the same idea that I'm going to cover. But for me personally, I recommend my customers to go in sub niches, not even just the niches, right? Because at the end of the day, niches is still broad, okay? And uh, I'll try to use an e-commerce example, like for people targeting brands, but this could work for even me who's selling to agencies, uh, people who are, who are doing coaches, coaching, people who are selling to real estate agents, everything, you can find sub niches in a bigger, uh, in a big, in a big uh, broad niche. Okay. So why is it important to, to, to find sub niches? Okay. So in the book by uh, Peter Thiel, zero to one, right? If you guys haven't read it, I'd recommend reading it. I, I don't think I've ever read it, but I've just uh, gone through the summary. He goes over the the importance of like in order for a startup to actually succeed, uh, you can't be in a in an industry where you're competing a lot, right? You have to find a specific group of people and you need to dominate that space. There is no competition, there is no there is no nothing. It's pure domination. Okay, so now let's go over why it's important to not just focus on a, just a niche. And um, go actually after sub niches. Okay, so I'll use this example, but I'll, I'll I'll also go over multiple examples. Okay, so imagine three thousand agency owners. Okay, in ecom, they're like, oh, what what niche should we go after in ecom? Oh, let's go after you know skincare and beauty. All right, perfect. Guess what? Now you have ecom, right? Ecom agency, right? You you'll have Oh man, you'll have this, right? I'll you could imagine duplicating this but like 3000 times, okay? And this is literally what's going on, guys, right? This is pure like this is the reality of things. And I think this video will will help people understand why it's actually important to to niche down, to find sub niches instead of being broad, okay? So check this out. Every single e-commerce agency who want, who thought who thought of skincare as a as a niche will be targeting the skincare skincare brands. Okay. So what ends up happening? I, I added here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight e-commerce agencies, but like this is like a hundred times what's happening. Okay. So let's say you'll find a lot of brands in skincare, right? But the issue is everybody who's, who's, who's an e-commerce agency is using the same keywords, is using the same channels to find these brands. So what ends up happening is that even if there are, let's say, 100,000 brands, okay? Because these guys are using the same keywords, right? They're using the same keywords. They're using the same list, right? Like a seam, I think Snow.io, Seamless, all those, all those like list building websites, okay? And they're using the same channels, right? Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and um, what, whichever channel there is, Google, okay? So this means that there's not that many variations, right? So these guys all go back to the targeting the same brands after all, right? So what ends up happening is these guys are like, 
Oh, my emails are not getting responded to. Oh, I'm getting ignored. Oh, it's been five months. I haven't gotten a response. Guess what? It's because the 80 or a thousand other agencies who thought of skincare, because the thing about niching down is you have to, it's pretty intuitive, right? So it's like, oh, let's say I'm a girl. I like skincare. Oh, let me go target skincare, right? Or, oh, uh, skincare is pretty, you know, people buy products a lot. So it's the LTV is pretty high. Oh, let me go target skincare, right? But this is the same thing for apparel. Um, what other, you know, famous uh like niches and e-com, right? Or like electronics or maybe even info products, okay? Like what happens is that these guys are competing for the same for the same people because even if it's skincare and there are a lot of brands in skincare, what ends up happening is they're using the same keywords, right? So they end up, boom, falling under the same, um, you know, spamming the same brand. So that means that the response rate literally goes from if it was 80% or let's say, 30, 20% of all the emails you send get responded to, it literally drops to 2%. That's why everybody's struggling, right? But let's, let's look at this one. Let's look at this example. Let's say, and this is how you do go about finding sub niches, right? You actually go product focus, okay? You go either product focus or if you're in other and if product focuses because we're in e-com, but if let's say um, let's say for me who's targeting agencies, maybe I could go offer specific, right? I want also I only want to for this offer I want to sell it to agencies who are selling to brands. Now that's that literally that's a sub niche between within the, the niche of agencies, right? And uh, but let's go back to this this process of finding sub niches, okay? The way I tell my customers to do it is to find products instead of niches. Why products? Well, because if you go after products, well, one, you're going to be coming up with keywords that aren't intuitive or that not everybody else is doing that not everybody's looking for, okay? So it could be, you know, sun, sunscreen brands, right? How many agencies out of the 3,000 people selling the same stuff as you is thinking of just targeting sunscreen brands? Not many, right? So you literally go from competing with 1,000 people to, boom, only competing with maybe 25 people. <laughs> but the thing is, there's still a lot of brands that sell sunscreen. So you end up also finding a really large group of brands, right? So you're not actually, yes, you're going narrow, but you're going narrow in, in, the, in the process of finding the brands. You're not actually going, you're not narrowing down your reach. Of course, you're narrowing down your reach than just simply saying, hey, skincare, but you're still gonna have a lot of brands that sell sunscreen, right? So maybe instead of competing with all these agencies, maybe you're just competing with, you know, maybe you're competing with three people, right? So that means that your message to reply rate, right? Your conversion rate will be, will go from 80% to 75% of all the emails that you send, of all the DMs that you send will get responded to because these sunscreen brands, nobody's reaching out to them. Hey, saying, Hey, I specialize in helping sunscreen brands. So I'd love to show you guys what we do. Right? So even the message resonates at a higher, higher level. Right? And, um, how did I come up with this? Well, it's because I was working with 15 agencies having to book meetings for them every single month. So whatever you guys think you're dealing with, like whichever niche you guys are in, I had over 20 agencies that I had to book meetings for. So I had to literally figure out how to solve this problem of, whoa, what's going on, guys? Like, I can't get meetings for my customers. So I had to be like, well, if we're going to get a lot of meetings for people, for our customers, you know, we had, you know, out of, let's say 25, we had like maybe 10, 13, 15, e-commerce agencies. So that's why I try to focus on, on them. 
and that's why and it's probably one of the hardest subnet like um, sub niche in agent the agency world that is hard to get meetings for like I had to figure out a way to remove competition right and I was like well instead of going after like big big niches clothing apparel fitness or oh, fitness is also one uh, you know supplements is also big 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 comp Competition world, right? So stay away from that. If you want to go into supplements, find a specific product of supplements, right? And I'm giving you guys key things here. Like this is stuff that customers pay for thousands of dollars, and I've spent months, you know, trying to figure this thing out. Okay, so um, I came up with this because I had to solve a, a problem for my customers. So I was like, hey guys, like uh, we're gonna stop going after broad stuff. Please make a list of all the products that you guys would like to target. And once we tested that out, wow. Boom. Magic happens, right? One, not a lot of agencies will come up with the same products. So the the competition reduces, right? If not, a lot of people are coming up with the same keywords. Then that means that uh, they're not going to get spammed with a lot more agencies. So competition again boom goes down same thing um the message is really highly resonating right meaning you can actually craft a message that is even it's not even a personalized message but because you're going after product focused you're actually going to have more resonance by default because you're not just saying hey we help skincare brands you're actually saying hey we help brands that sell sunscreen products scale or whatever like it, whatever service you're selling i don't really care which one you're selling it doesn't have to be paid ads right but this is the key guys this is how you know this is why we have you know almost like 25 agencies in ecom who are part of our program right because they go from going going in a course from a from an influencer that told them hey uh you know every 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 sub niche works it's just about pro like um having really good you know let's say like product market fit but it's like no it's not just about that it's about competition right these brands are tired of getting spammed by agencies these real estate agents are tired of getting spammed by agencies these even me selling to agencies they're tired of getting sold by people just like me right but if i can actually jump in and say hey uh we only specialize in helping real estate agents who are selling less between five to ten deals a year. Oh, that real estate agent will like, whoa, that's me. Nobody has ever pitched me this situation. Like never nobody has ever come up with me with that kind of message. Cause you're directly pitching me. You're not just saying, Oh, I help every real estate agent get get more leads or get more appointments. Like, yeah, then that's really it, right? So Hopefully this will help you guys to understand why it's important to sub to find sub niches, right? And how to actually go about doing it, okay? And um, yeah, I don't know if I had anything else to cover, but I think that this is, yeah, this is really how to win if you're making less than seven figures, or even if you're making seven figures already, like this could also help you win because you're going to be having less competition regardless. You could go after sunscreen brands, you could then go after you know supplement that sell creatine or some sleep aiding stuff like i don't i don't care like i don't want to give like like um products because you guys will think that it's uh it's like i i'm giving away stuff but like no it's literally anything because once you find products you could find like a hundred products and you could test like two products a, a week like find brands that are selling specific products and then pitch those brands and see which one resonates the most which one has a higher response rate and yeah you're gonna get to 50 grand pretty easily a month or add an extra 50 grand right um if you're interested to to go you know to maybe learn more about our stuff and you or you'd like us to literally build you an acquisition around like uh around this help you install a virtual assistant help you you know leverage audiences you know, that would be pretty sick, right? Imagine having like uh, a thousand people selling skincare products in a specific group. We help our customers do that, okay? If you're interested in learning more, shoot me a DM or slide in my DM and uh, or book a call. Find a link. Get in touch with me or my team, okay? Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Ciao, ciao.